All right, we're back. Today it is Sector. Um, I saw someone refer to them as Lady Sector, which is just like so dramatic. She's a female now. Let's let it go. But I'm excited to see what kind of gameplay we get from Sector in Mortal Kombat 1. Let's check it out. Oh, not the Ungari. Welcome to the party, baby doll. What's your name? Call me Sector. I'll call you anytime you want. Ah, of course he would say something I like that. share his vision for the Lin Kuei. We won't be bound by Liu Kang's limits. Is there a fight over land? Is that a new costume? Myself and others seek a powerful future. They Ooh. Their ilk claim she moves you. much faster. You and Sub Zero won't earn the Empress's mercy. Chameleon has words now? We are not fighting for her mercy. We are fighting for our lives. Oh, that looks good. Backbreak. Set up. Ooh. Dirt. <gasps> I knew they were gonna give him another move! I knew it! I knew they were gonna give him another move. When I return, there will be anarchy. No. Do not the emotion on her face. Longing for Sub -Zero's safe return. Okay, Ermac. Ooh, there goes the guns. Oh, look at this stage. This stage looks good. Too. Ooh, she got combos. Restand. Oh, wow. A hover. Oh, my God. She. Okay. Beyond, can you hear me? Our goal is unchanged. This is going to be a good story expansion. All right, what the fatality look like? Oh, up to space. That is so Iron Man coded. Oh my god. That's pretty sick though. That is pretty sick. And look, she stands in front. Jax was all the way in the back. A rhino? Oh my god. <laughs> I need to pre-order this. <clears throat> Ooh, somebody's a tiger. All right, y'all, let's break this down. For me, I am a long time fan of the Mortal Kombat lore. So I'm excited. You know, Sector, Cyrax, and Noob Saibot are not my favorite characters, but I'm excited for what they contribute to this era of Mortal Kombat. And I feel like compared to Cyrax's trailer, Sector's trailer gave us so much hints as to what's going on. Um, and I like those details. The Ungadi, I just was not expecting that. Of course, Johnny Cage is going to flirt. I mean, I just feel like that is so par for the course. Um, but look at this here, right? That's Melina wearing the uh, DLC costume that is part of this expansion pack. Um, so this is them meeting at this tape. They're meeting about something. That's Raiden looking more like Raiden. I wonder if Katana has on something special here. I don't know. I'm interested. I'm so locked in for this story. By Liu Kang's limits. And what I really like... Who is that that she kicked? Is that like Havoc's minion, I think? And I was saying this about Cyrax. Like, I can just see them... 
because they're like female warriors, why wouldn't they have been part of the Umgadi at some point? You know, and I really liked this touch of giving Chameleon a little bit more prominence and presence. It's presence in story mode. Fight over land. I wonder, is this an outfit for Katana or is this just story mode special? Myself and others seek a powerful future. They and their ilk cling to an anemic past. I love that scene. Sub Zero won't earn the Empress's mercy once. Yeah, so given um, Chameleon, like actual lines, I was a little bit surprised by that because in in the in story mode she kind of just stood there, you know, um, and she obviously became a DLC cameo, but again, what I like about this is they're kind of they're adding more to the lore of this era of Mortal Kombat. And Sector is Sector's role in this is kind of more personable than I thought. Like I thought she was just gonna be like a villain, but you know, she's really trying to save Bihan, but she agree agrees with his vision. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's an interesting place for sure. Sub Zero won't earn the Empress's mercy. Once said, her mind doesn't change. We are not fighting for her mercy. We are not fighting for our mercy. We are fighting for our to, lives. For our lives. Yeah, I like that touch. Now, here we go. This is interesting. I think it comes up here. Look at this. <laughs> now, I've been saying as I've... I feel like I've been spot on thus far. Give me my, my credit. My recommendation to Netherrealm with regards to cameos in that huge video I did was why aren't we adding more moves for cameos to 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 do? And we saw Sub-Zero got a new move. We saw Sonya got a new move. And now we see Jax get a new move. And this is a play off of his classic gotcha punch. And apparently it's going to function where if your cameo is on screen, he can attack your cameo and, and, and do damage to them. And I'm pretty sure this is going to have like a cool down effect or a pause effect where the cameo can't come back in for for a little bit and so i mean i don't know how that's going to kind of help his toolkit because you got to use it strategically sindel has a similar move where she can you know attack your cameo and this is essentially the same thing but this i'm there, there's a distance requirement for this right and they chose the right cameo to demonstrate it against because you can kind of see Darius coming from across the screen and so if you react accordingly you can attack the cameo so on one hand I'm glad he got another move but on the other hand mm, I don't know how useful this is going to be for his toolkit but I guess we have to wait and see when this drops I love Sector's combos This combo is sick. A lot of zoning. I can't really tell. Oh, look, she, she, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, Sector. Hold on, I'm trying to follow. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So she does a forward rocket. That's a setup, right? That uses meter. So I'm assuming this is the tracking rocket. Because look, he teleported and it followed him. And that allows her to go for a combo. I love that move though. And that's a that's a play on the, the teleport punch that uh, Sector normally has. That's really cool. And I wonder if, ooh, that was nice too. I really wanna highlight this combo. Te that's the that's the new teleport punch right juggle projectile and that still pops up that's really cool and then use meter to restand oh 
Sector is gonna have some swag. Okay, I mean, we saw Cyrex had swag too. I didn't expect anything less, but it's looking really good. I'm like, I actually like what I'm seeing from her. Now this hover thing, I just know it's gonna be annoying. Who am I thinking of? I'm th Am I thinking of Jackie from MKX? I mean, MK11, did she have like a hover thing too that was so annoying to deal with? Because what's interesting is like, if she's going to save Bihan and Bihan becomes Noob Saibot, does she end up teaming up with everyone to go against Havoc since he's responsible? Hmm. Changed. Cause look, she's fighting Havoc's people in this sequence. Another combo. Now the fatality is so Iron Man coded. <laughs> so Iron Man coded. This is so Iron Man coded. <laughs> Which I guess is appropriate because I feel like this storyline from Mortal Kombat is so modeled after the multiverse saga that's been happening within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And so I feel like this is definitely a nod to Iron Man. Like, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, Iron Man. It's totally Iron Man or Iron Woman. But this fatality is really cool. This is a really cool fatality. That is sick. And I also wonder, and so I could be thinking too much about this, but I wonder if they've changed how they, they pose. This is the first time, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first time the cameo has been so far in the background in an ending pose. I feel like normally the, um, the cameo steps forward to be alongside the main roster character, but this is the first time I'm seeing them in the background like that. I hope this happens for everyone, but I don't remember if that happened for Cyrax's trailer. I guess I have to double check. But I like this actually because I feel like the cameo is a support character and I, I don't like when they like come up right next to them. I hope this happens for everyone. Or is Sector just special because when she comes down, and kind of puts a crater in the ground, not everyone could fit in there, so. But yeah, that's my breakdown and reaction of the Sector trailer. Like I said, I'm really excited to play through this story expansion. And Sector, I might give her a shot. You know, I do like how some of her combos look. I'm not the swaggiest player, and so I'm not really interested in all of that, but she has layers. She has layers, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a ton of Mortal Kombat co content coming. Please stay tuned. Please subscribe, like, share if you care. And I'll catch y'all next time. Bye!